Hi, I'm Eric Chow, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my GMAT preparation and how I used target test prep throughout that whole process. So just a little bit about myself. I graduated with a bachelor's in information systems, so pretty quant-heavy major, um, very technical. And I've taken standardized tests in the past, took the SATs, so I kind of thought going into the GMAT that because I was familiar with standardized tests, I would be able to study a month or two and get the score I want on the GMAT, which definitely ended up not being the case. So when I initially started, it was May of 2019, and I took a cold test on the GMAT, the official practice test, and I scored a 640 with a Q46 and a verbal score of 34. Going back and reviewing some of those questions, I realized a lot of those were kind of lucky guesses. So, but that's kind of where I started back in May of 2019. Fast forward to last month, uh, beginning of this month, actually, in April 2021, I took the official GMAT and scored a 750 with a Q48 and a verbal score of 46. That was the product of essentially four real months of really hard studying. And before that, after I had taken the cold test in May of 2019, um, my studying kind of consisted of, you know, 30 minutes a day, maybe doing the question of the day on GMAT Club. And I thought that just doing this 30 minutes a day would get me to where I wanted, which again, was definitely not the case. And it wasn't until I really committed to myself that I wanted to take the GMAT seriously that I started to see progress. And so that all started in December of 2020. I decided to purchase four months of target test prep and told myself, no matter what, I'm gonna study every day, at least two or three hours a day, um, and really, really commit for the four months that I had target test prep. And, you know, I scheduled a date for April and that was that. I, I, I told myself I was taking it seriously, so. What was amazing about target test prep was that it provided structure to my studying. So beforehand, I didn't really know where to start and what to do and how to progress, but target test prep provided me with the ability to go through chapter by chapter, um, learn the fundamentals, and then take quizzes to reinforce those fundamentals. So that to me was probably the biggest thing, having that structure um, for quant and verbal, learning all the fundamentals, um, day by day and, you know, just putting the time in and, but, you know, having a direction to move towards. Um, and so that's kind of what I did for two months. I exclusively worked on target test prep, went through every single chapter, uh, you know, did every single test, made sure that I got the minimum required score on every single test. And by the end of it, um, I felt really confident in my fundamentals. And that's when I kind of began to move to the uh, um, to the official practice questions. So one thing I noticed was that um, those official practice problems, especially quant, a lot of them would translate directly, like an exponent question or some sort of calculation. That was, you know, a breeze for me um, after having done target test prep. The some of the lengthier GMAT official questions took a little bit of getting used to just to get used to the wording and what they want. But, you know, with those solid fundamentals that I had built, I felt that that transition, you know, took a little bit of time, but um, I felt super confident in, in quant after, you know, a week of doing official practice problems. Um, and where I saw that, you know, target test prep really, really uh, benefited me was the analytics that they provide. Even some of the very basic things like just giving me a view of how much I've studied, how much per day I've studied, what chapters I do well in in terms of questions, what I don't do well in. Just that basic analysis, knowing where to focus your studying moving forward was super, super helpful for me. Um, so, you know, after using target test prep and going through some of the official practice problems, um, I started taking the official exams. And so those obviously are crucial towards your GMAT prep, especially doing those in a very 
specific test environment trying to replicate what will be done on the actual test day. And so I would do those, review those, and any kind of patterns or areas that I saw that I was struggling in or wasn't doing as well, I would go back to target test prep and I would, you know, read through some of the chapter that I didn't do as well in and do some of the quizzes. And so it was really crucial for me to have that to fall back on um, and to kind of, you know, after four months, there's certain things you forget. So having that to be there to uh, look back on. So, you know, throughout this whole journey, um, there's it's going to take a lot of work and there's going to be a lot of moments of frustration, whether it's, you know, not doing so well on a target test prep review or, you know, doing 20 official practice problems in a row and getting, you know, 12 of them wrong, right? But I think one of the biggest things I learned throughout this prep process was that although there will be those low moments in the end, um, as long as you have your fundamentals in place, as long as you keep, you know, attacking it, you will get to the score that you want. And I think that for me, target test prep was absolutely essential in doing that. Um, target test prep and the official questions is, you know, 95% of the materials that I use. Uh, so definitely highly, highly recommend target test prep and, um, and it will definitely get you to where you need to go. Thanks.